for today's cup of coffee cup of coffee my mind is blown totally completely mind blown because i just finished watching a um, video that was by jordan peterson and he was discussing something with michael schellenberger and i'm going to include the youtube link in the description box but i'm also going to give you the bit shoot link because I don't know that YouTube will allow this video to stay up very long. I did look to see if, if Peterson had a link on Rumble, but I didn't see one. And he's he's on so many different things and stuff like that. I'm sure that it's difficult for him to keep up with these things. But the reason I don't usually go into these types of topics, because we do try to keep light and fluffy. Uh, but I saw this, and it was... This was validation for Robert Phoenix because a few days back he had sort of wondered it's like it's like people are under a spell. And this is his validation. Yes, yes they are. And if you're not familiar with Jordan Peterson, and I actually started I was listening to his lectures on YouTube and stuff way before the controversy started. Uh, up in Canada several years back and clinical psychologist and also college professor absolutely brilliant I mean just a brilliant thinker and now this video is is kind of hardcore and so it's it's not light and fluffy because it's talking about a very very important uh, subject and yes, I am going to skirt around the issues on this because I, I, I see no point in it. Um, and this is something that some of the procedures that are being done to some of the young people in our world today. And Peterson did say, yes, that when all this, when, when this will be looked back in retrospect, that it will be worse than back when the uh, psychological community was doing lobotomies. That's the reality of it. And he did use, it's interesting, because he did use the archetypes of, uh, like, the witch in Snow White. He did use as far as the terms of witchcraft and stuff. And he does a lot of things with allegory. But no, I think he's hitting the nail on the head truly, totally, completely. And it was just incredible. It's, it's one of those that, um, and I think that, that Robert had also spoke about either yesterday or today, not being able to unhear things. Well, this is one of those things that people need to hear. It's not enough to turn a blind eye or a deaf ear to what's going on in our world today. And it, they also discuss some of the things that can be done. So it's not like they just throw this out there. We got a lot of people throwing stuff at us, but they have no solutions. But this was one of the best, most accurate, most articulate explanations of how, as a society, we got to where we are that I have heard to date. And I've listened to a lot of stuff. Because I have time and internet. <laughs> and and even as far as a cult. Because a lot of this stuff is, is very cult-like, which involves sacrifice. This stuff isn't new. It may have a different form. But it's been around for a very long time. Very, very and something else that was most interesting was that, if I can find my links here and stuff on it, um, I've got two, two links. Robert had also mentioned in something today that during the April 8th eclipse, yes, NASA, it is confirmed, and I'll leave a link from Forbes, that they will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse. But yes. And it's interesting because the project 
is named after the serpent deity from Egyptian mythology who was the nemesis of the sun deity Ra. Ra. There's no coincidence. And on top of that, if I can find it here, CERN is to test the, uh, they're, they're, they're going to crank that thing up on the eclipse too. I think it's kind of clusterfuck, folks. What does it all mean? I have no idea. It means that, that during the eclipse, my ass is going to be in the house. I'm going to be in prayer. Yeah, I can pray and drink coffee at the same time. I've had years of experience. But lots and lots of dot connectors. And uh, the CERN thing, I, no, I, do I believe that it's just the science? No, I don't. I think that they're trying to open some kind of a damn portal. I think that they've been trying to do that for a very long time. And who knows? There's no coincidence. There's too much ritualistic magic that has been going on. And I mean, it has been some really dark magic going on for many years. It's just that most people, again, it's like this other situation that's going on right now. They don't want to think about it. And it's like, okay, just because that, you know, it still is. I've got kid over there. He's said he wanted to be the peanut gallery today. Yeah. And with this serpent named Rocket, it was most interesting because Peterson, towards the end of the production here, the video that he did, he was talking about Moses and how that, uh, you know, while they were out in the wilderness and stuff like that, that they had whined and bitched and moaned and complained, and God had had enough. And so, like any parent, what do you do when a kid's getting, it's like, I'll give you something to bitch about. And so, it's serpents, that he had sent serpents to, to bite them. And Peterson does explain this, because it does go into, as, as far as Christian, um, you know, scripture and stuff like that. And he said that some of the atheists will use that. It's like, oh, well, God's a big meanie. And instead of making the serpents go away, he had Moses create a, a, bron a brazen serpent. It was a snake on a stick. That's what it was. And that if they looked on it, they were healed. Serpents didn't go away. And Peterson does an excellent job of explaining breaking down the analogy and he said it's a matter of looking upon that which poisons you and that's true in every aspect of our culture right now and with the planetary alignments all this stuff is being brought to the surface to see now you can either look at it recognize evil for what it is make a decision and if you if you call it out a lot of times it'll quit you're no longer poisoned you're no longer under the spell because knowledge is power or you can continue to stay asleep and be poisoned and bitten and that is a personal decision you know yeah, but it's like Personally, no, no, I, I don't want to be snake bit. But there's been a whole lot of this snake analogy coming up recently. And, and for even during this discussion with Peterson, very, I, I don't believe in coincidence. I do not. And the fact that Passover is on April the 22nd this year, which is two weeks to the day after the eclipse on April 8th. And it was a matter of uh, Passover. The whole point of the Passover was so that the death angel did not touch those who had the, had the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. Now, I'm not going to get religious on you. I'm just saying that that is part of the basis of Passover. It's interesting. It is when you get into studying some of these, and, and Mark built is a really good teacher on on some of the old testament why do we do what we do 
And again, Michael Heiser, I talk about him. I think about that man almost daily. I really do. I miss his presence on the planet. You know, it was like, I would like to know what his thoughts about some of these current events would be. Which would probably be, it's like, yeah, I don't know, God's doing something. <laughs> we don't, we won't know what God's doing until after he's done it. Because he was very much like that. He was, he was a wise man. And I'm grateful that we'd still have his, um, his wisdom available uh, through internet. So, kid, you got anything beeps bloops whatever boop boop beep bop yeah that CERN thing that they've been trying to open a portal for a hot minute mm -hmm. and the snake thing that's not a new no thing but I mean as far as them uh, firing at the eclipse these rockets and having it named after something that was the nemesis to the sun god now that didn't know yeah didn't know of yeah didn't hear it most most interesting so and i will tell you if you ever need any kind of astrological if you have any astrological needs i will put the link to robert, robert phoenix and it's yeah mm -hmm. he Thank is you. he has the wisdom and the knowledge to go along with it and uh yeah he does. I, I, I truly, well, I trusted him enough to do my chart. Mm -hmm. And if you trust someone enough to do your chart, mm -hmm. that means that's big trust. That is big trust. Mm -hmm. That is big trust. Yep. So that, that's your final thoughts over mm -hmm. there. High strangeness. Crank to 11. Yep. 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 If you've had experiences with the paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, uh, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. I'll have several links for you, including the paper that the uh, gentleman that um, Peterson was interviewing. Um, I have not read it myself. I probably will not. Uh, it's Michael Schellenberger. And... He was, he was appalled. He was just appalled. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave that for you. And you can share these things with other people and wherever you need to share it appropriately. Those of y'all who do the social media stuff, I, I do not. Mm. So, but our, our email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. All kind of goodies there in the description box. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you are loved. Mm -hmm. Never lose hope. Yep. And remember to always treat other people the way you would like to be treated. Mm -hmm. And let us pray one for another. Yep. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.